right, so today we're going to be going over uh, using whatever weapon system you have on the tripod. But first, we're working this video stuff. Alright guys, we're going to be going over the proper way to set up a tripod. Um, you'll see a lot of people operate this like in their own way. And there is not really a wrong way to do it, but there's efficient ways and inefficient ways. So, first of all, we're going to down. Alright, so And you want to orient yourself if you can, if the situation dictates. You want to have these two back legs angled back like so. And then you want to have, if you can, the, the ball head or your support bag, whatever you have up top, at sternum height. So as you can see, it's about chest height. <laughs> um, so moving forward, you want to make sure that your feet are approximately short width apart if you have it set up in this configuration. Uh, sorry with the <laughs> It was clear. And we're gonna, however you set your rifle up, whether that's Arca or on a bag, you have to your tripod. It's just a vortex switchback. But you make sure that you have this third leg pointed in the direction that you're trying to shoot. When you do that, <clears throat> make sure that you keep your body square the same way that you would whether you're in the prone or any other firing position this is nothing else it's essentially a modified prone but you keep your shoulders square you can brace off if you want. Just make sure that you're not like overly blading to where you can come off the recoil of the weapon coming off target when the gun goes off so you make sure you stay square your, your toes pointing forward, uh, poke your butt out just a little bit, and get into position. Like so. Um, now it's going to come down to the height that you're trying to shoot around, uh, you know, what is the target distance, all, all of the same types of criteria. biggest thing as to why we use these is for uh, firing positions that are outside of the prone. So even just out here, like we're shooting. We're shooting like anywhere. Like, let's say we're on top of this berm over here. Or we're shooting, I don't know, there are some hills, some hills here in the terrain. Tripods, essentially, they lift you up off the ground, but give you the same stability as if you were laying down. So, now that we've got that, now that we've had that covered in a nutshell, we're going to do some tripod shooting over here on the long distance still range. So here, now we have the tripod set up. Uh, we're locked into Arca, and we're just going to, we're going to do it both ways. We're going to do it with the legs back towards us and our feet square and then we're going to flip it for all the naysayers that say you can't shoot straddle even though that's how you use a sling to straddle the third leg so we're just going to shoot at 200 yards probably like just two shots same thing goes from when we're over there uh tripod set up at about sternum height we're going to do it off the back as well um, and again this is just a terrain dictates that you cannot be prone or kneeling so you need to get higher so that was you saw it. Now we're gonna rotate it. Adjust these motherfucking legs. And this was before if you're using a sling with your rifle to do the little weird wraparound thing, the high speed cool. Cool shit, this is how you do it. But some people just say it can't be done this way for some reason, but it can. Magic, I guess. 
And then if you are one of those people that have like a hog saddle or you don't have an orca clamp, um, we're just gonna set up for that next. So let's just, for some reason, assume that your head is broken or, I don't know, your buddy came over and needs to use your tripod. You know you have to be set up essentially the same way. Um, base of your tripod about sternum height. Set your bag up, preferably this way, like this. We'll get into that another day. Not like this. You set your rifle in the middle. Go like that. Get as much contact as we can this way. Put our rifle on the bag and look, voila, we're ready. Bag at the exact same height as we had the ball head on. We're gonna do the same thing. So mm -hmm. feet should be toes to the target. And this is a 308 9 5 6 So, yep. Yeah. This is why you should probably have one in your arsenal if you're a competitive shooter or just a hunter. Um, again, start with the background noise right there. Uh, and this is what it would look like in real time. Under 30 seconds, I'll throw up a little B-roll of a stopwatch, but for all you, that's not real world people. You got 30 seconds? Boom. All right, so it's good. <laughs>